Excessive heat continues in the valley. There are some brave people lacing up their hiking shoes and hitting the trails, even in 115 degree heat. Fox 10's Jennifer Martinez spoke to a few hikers and has more tonight. Jenny. Well, the parking lots weren't nearly as full as they usually are when the temperatures are much cooler, but a lot of people were hitting the trails earlier this evening after a five o'clock when I spoke to them. But now fire officials are warning those hikers and giving them some tips. You just kind of get used to it. Yeah, For Quentin Moran, really like this 115 degree weather is nothing. He hikes Paestoa Peak almost every single day after work. I drink water, I guess. Um, uh, but then, like, you know, I've been... I bet I've been doing this for six years, so, you know, like... It just kind of practice, you know. For Lee Benson, same deal. His weekly Tuesday hike with his buddy goes on rain, shine, or in this case, heat. As it gets a little bit hotter, sometimes I wear like a neck gaiter or sleeves and you pour water on it, you know, and that sort of evaporates and cools you down. But otherwise, it's kind of all about the burn. The Phoenix Fire Department not stopping these brave souls from hitting the trails, but say make sure you are hydrated, have snacks, shaded hats, and a charged cell phone, recommending people to go out early in the morning or later in the day to avoid any injuries. It can really cause some severe uh, injuries, uh, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, things that not only put them at danger, but then the first responders have to go out and try to help them. These two out of towners expected the heat, but just wanted to catch a glimpse of the Arizona sunsets. And you walked outside. What was the first thing that you guys thought when you walked into the oven? I was like, wow, it was hot. <laughs> but, but he said but it's better than the East Coast heat, though. Because yeah, I, yeah. it's not humid. Yeah. All right. Yeah. OK, <laughs> what do you have to say um, to people who are like, these people are nuts going out there right now hiking? Come join us. <laughs> Come join us. I think I will pass because it's so hot outside. So fire officials, they also tell me that they have responded to heat related incidents this week and they have been passing out waters for the homeless community. Now, if you are experiencing heat exhaustion, what you can experience, that's uh, dizziness, chapped lips, heavy sweating and of course fatigue. Reporting live in downtown tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.